because Wario struggles a lot with characters who outrange him. But yeah. I, if he kind of misses with one move, then he always leaves a big window of opportunity afterwards. So yeah, um, okay. Natra is going to want to time those landing nares to miss the initial sword swing and then get the falling attack. So we're going to start in PS2. I agree with this decision. I think this stage is pretty neutral in this particular matchup. Uh, well, let's see how this goes. I don't think it's pretty neutral. I think this... Well, Real. no, no, it is pretty neutral. Right, right, yeah. Because Ike benefits a lot of... Uh, Asian Carlos down in this matchup yeah. specifically, and so having platforms does help Nacho a bit. Yeah, exactly. And also the Warrior Drift is so good that it, 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 can, it can let him just escape on that kind of situation because the stage is so big, right? Yeah. Uh, having the platforms to mix in the lapping is actually pretty cool. Nice tech is there from Nacho. Oh my god, nice burst action there for me. Yeah. Oh, the dash attack is going to be wow. enough. Oh my god, that was rough. It was kind of early percent to for Wario to 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 get that. Yeah, absolutely. If he Wario is one of those characters, he needs to survive a lot. He needs to be very evasive. Yeah, it is. Oh, already? Oh, okay. Wow, the half one. Yeah, it the got half. the kill, so I suppose we cannot complain. Using... And we have a lot of time. Oh, oh wait a minute. Uh, oh no, he oh, dies first. Oh, wait, they both uh, die. Okay. okay. Hey. Ike got uh, to the position where Aether would have had enough height to make it to the ledge, but he was facing the wrong way. Yeah. So unless you can manage to turn it around, uh, you were going to be dead regardless. So we have a last stock situation, and that was yeah. so big for Nacho. Welcome Just bring to the Smash 4, I guess. Uh -huh. I don't know how good this is for Nacho, although the momentum completely shifted for him. But I think to think in mind here is that he will not have full will. left. Exactly. That's true. So it's a shorter game, and those normally don't benefit Wario. Yeah, I think he's going to be relying on edge guarding instead. Yeah. Um, Raw to just stop those eye recoveries. He, he has to rely on the honest way to kill Ben in this particular stock. Oh, that upper will be huge for Nacho. Something we see a lot of from Gluttony is you parry Ether on the way up and then you F-tilt. Yeah. Or parry and then F tilt on the way down. And that's um, actually the, 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 the optimal way to, to punish that. Oh, oh my no god, jump. Great leader. no jump! No jump! Okay. Then how? Let it, let it land on the stage again. Uh, be aware of the stairs because oh, of that. Yeah. yeah. But it's so easy to act by just frame trap you, like baiting a, an upper and wait for you for you to land with the. Uh, with the Erdush and just take your stock with the dash attack or the DF2. That situation is so scary. Yeah, do Because that. you're... People don't never do a neutral Erdush there because they, you, you just you want so to drift. Scared. Yeah, yeah you, you are so scared and maybe if you... Well, if you don't play Ike, like, you are not aware of uh, when the percentage that your character is going to die or where the upper is going to be true to the form of the nerd. Yeah. Uh, that's like the most common panic option is... Um, Directional air dodge. Yeah. You just want to get away. But yeah. against a character like Ike, you, you can't. Yeah, exactly. And even so if good. you jump, like, the Ike can just double jump you and catch you up because that offer is so huge. Yeah, it, it looks like a 50 50, but it's not quite it. Yeah. It, but it, it's, still, it's, it's, it's as scary as a 50 50. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we're going to be on Town and City. This is kind of. I don't know, this is an interesting choice. See if, yeah, for sure. It is an interesting choice. I, yeah. I know from a fact that the last time that, well, not on Ascent 2, Nacho beat Steven Montes on Game 5 with this stage. Yeah, Steven Montes was picking Town and City for pretty much every game he was given the option to. Yeah. Even when his opponent was Roy, he was often sealing his own death sentence by choosing it. So I'm really not surprised to see that Benya just feels the same. Clearly it must be something to do with Nair to up there on those higher platforms. Ike is happy to be here, but isn't currently in the lead against Nacho. Nice back yeah, there nice. from Nacho. Real good spacing. Maybe yeah, exactly. that's the key to, uh, to why Nacho was the one to pick this stage. Maybe he wants space. Maybe he wants to, yeah. to outspace Ike. Right? Yeah. We'll punish him. Um, what is it if he's so much better than Ike though? Yeah. So, oh my god, look at this oh, this from is Nacho. Big. This is big. Oh, baby. 52% and Oh my a god. good spot dodge as well to just let Ike pass. Seeing how many kills Dash Attack has gotten in this tournament, everyone is on watch now to keep away from yeah, that. Be aware yeah, of that. Just gone. Oh, yeah, no. nice. He adapted. That neut the neutral edge was pretty good, actually. Fishing for that one. Oh, and he the anti -air's from the anti -air game from Nachi is being on point right now. And Benha is looking a little bit desperate. That back oh, oh great too. trade. Yeah. Yeah, they have loves, loves to challenge you on, yeah. on this advantage. Really greedy for Benji from Benja. Yeah. Oh, nice. Hold, holding down on the recovery to get some space. 
This is a really bad decision from Benja because it's okay. I think oh, that is still on deck because we have time, we have oh, yeah, the really advantage for Nacho. Nacho could just play this slow, yeah. he could just wait a bit and... But he's going yeah. for it. Oh yeah, he wants to end it now. Yeah, yeah, for sure. He has an advantage and he will use it. But these so. nares are pretty much all hitting from Benya. Not a single one has been blocked or parried in a good long while. So Nacho, maybe it's time to just get off the platform, get more onto the ground so I that those nares will be a little more telegraphed. That he did really did to parry it. Yeah, along the Nice. Oh. Like oh, no jump. That's a good juggle station. Yeah. What oh. I would like to see as an adaptment, uh, as a, an adapting from Benja. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Would be to punish more of those landing hitboxes that uh, Natch is doing. He was landing a lot with Nair, a lot with uh, Upper. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and he's the. choice I did in that but yeah, exactly. Sometimes he's done how comfortable I do and precisely. It speaks to a unique playstyle when you've landed three wafts in two games and they've all been half yeah, wafts exactly. and two of them have yeah. killed. So the switch to Pyro and Mithra from Ooh. Benya makes sense. He was playing this a lot in friendlies over yeah, the course of the weekend, and it's uh, gonna make up for a lot of those weaknesses that Ike has. And Pyro yeah. is still like better Ike in, in many senses, right? Yeah. Oh. The fact that they can just push a little more balance and pancake some of the warrior serials, it's extremely good. Like, oh, that far side is pretty good. The down tilt is going to be pretty good. The dash attack as well, up tilt. The, all the moves that the egg is going to be a lot. Uh, it's going to be. Like, like that. Do you see that down tilt? Like, just. Pancake, the offer from Wario, that's gonna be huge for the matchup. Yeah, uh, Nacho doesn't seem as comfortable as, uh, as to get his combo uh, Pyra and Mithra yeah. than Ike. Yeah, Maybe exactly. weight or the speed of uh, the character is trickier. Yeah, so Blazing and used to just create a bit of space because this is the first properly we've seen in quite a while from Benya, and he does not want to give it up, especially when he's fighting the classic definition of a combat character. Your lead against Wario can disappear at any given moment, oh. especially when he reads your roll like that. 90% on Benya. Nacho is on fire right now. Nacho has been so good in those tech chases, but now we see Benja finally punching those. Guys. This is a very even. And there's oh, no. no. So that's a real half waft. The wafts we've been seeing up to this point have not even been halfway yeah. officially, but uh, that time it does miss its mark. But Nacho not going to let it sweat in too much because he's still. There hasn't been a single stock taken, so you will get another chance. Yeah, I think what's helping a lot in neutral right now for Nacho is the use of fire. To lead with uh, fire in neutral rather than with Mithra. So Ben kill right now is kind of helping Nacho gather some percentage. Oh, but there we oh, go! A reversal on the corkscrew, seeing that Pirate was hugging the side. Gonna have to do that uh, very vertical recovery. So Nacho just says, this is your moment to die. Now the up air hitting from an absolute zip code away. That was a gigantic from Pyra, but big Ike vibes, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coming from an Ike main like Benja, of course that would hit. Uh-huh. Alright, so I, I, once again, an even game, but here comes the Mithra from Benja. <laughs> nice foresight right here, but it, it seems that Natch is, is slowly getting more comfortable playing around with Mithra. Now we see a half waft. Oh, but goes for the down air instead. Mithra can be easily sniped out of those side uh. which is why used Mithra's aerial drift to get closer to the stage and then switched to Pyra at the last second for an easier ledge snap with ledge snap with prominence revolt. So that was a really good recovery. It was definitely something that Nacho could have interrupted, but he was expecting Mithra to use the side B, Ooh. so was able to get him back. All right, so we see now Benja trying to slowly creep back, but Nacho going for those kill confirms with bike. It's a very tricky situation for Benja to move around. But gonna jump around with those gigantic aerials say Wario you've only got stubby range how exactly are you gonna get past this 
Well, if I'd land on you directly from above, he's wearing a helmet after all. This is what makes <laughs> Wario wear Wario better than the Mario style one, you know? He can clank those uh, power downers. That's a lie. Doesn't help whatsoever. But we're nearly getting footstooled on top of it anyway. Oh, and now he's getting chased by Benja. This is slowly getting uh, bad for him. The momentum completely shifted from Nacho to Benja. Nice sneaky recovery just to get back under the Kalos platform. This is even as can be, and there's only four minutes left on the timer, so clearly Waft, it's going to get its first chance maybe to be a full Waft later on. Yeah. But uh, Nacho will want to get the first, get this second stock using his own moves before he tries to do anything with the funny down B. Yeah, and I was going to mention how Nacho is now using a lot of back arrow to shield, and we saw right there why he wasn't doing it. The Pyra for pancaking and going below wire oh, wow. we see in here you can't pancake my foot and takes the kill yeah so lap and now we may not have a full waft yet but you've at least got half waft at this oh. point so nacho is probably gonna <laughs> there's the full one watch out and maybe don't hold all the way over there when you get hit by pyro back air please nacho is gonna try and make this happen before dropping the stock because having that extra security oh. net oh it's gonna matter so much but gets dash attacked when Somehow his forward smash manages to miss his own bike at point-blank range. Yeah, but now Nacho kind of has the momentum here. He has walked, he has the percentage lead. This is a very tricky situation for Benja. Let's see if he, if he can make the comeback. So using a bit more Mithra for... It's like we were saying, of course oh. the Eichmann is going to oh. use more Pyra. Oh! oh. Foresight though, that's why you want to be Mithra in that moment. Yes, Benya is generally happier being Pyra, a more Ike style character, but using Mithra for the exact perfect moment where Pyra 100% would have died otherwise. Yeah. Oh, that's not quite it. But now it's last hit, a situation that Nacho probably didn't see him being at the start of the game. Oh, blazing end interrupted by that long lasting foot of Wario's forward air. Nacho has done well to hold the fort, but Benja is only looking for one opportunity, and with Pyra's kill power, pretty much anything could do it. Even from these percent onwards, you could get down air to up smash. Ooh. You could get an off stage attack like a forward air, for instance. You could extend your hitbox on the bike, maybe. Uh, neutral B on a ledge, get up. There's so many options right this now. Is so scary. The bike is so Nacho needs to be really careful going around them. We see how he can't even punish Benja right now. Oh, the situation, maybe. This can be a natural moment, but no. He's fighting once again for stage control. Oh, throws the bike. That's one of those perfect positions for covering all ledge options because you can choose where to throw bike. After oh. you see what happens, lands the upper. It doesn't quite kill one of the fake kill screens, but good DI from Nacho to survive nevertheless. Lands it into Pyra's jab to counter out what could have been potentially a swing. Oh, up air does it, and Benja God. gets a game on the board again on Nacho. Oh, my word. What so a game. stressful. Wow. Thrown so quickly for Nacho after he missed the wasp and with the fight. That was his game, but he just couldn't get a grasp on Pyramid. He was just playing so slippery. It's one of those matchups where, at the absolute top, top level, we've seen uh, Gluttony get a lot of wins on MK Leo and even Spargo's. Um, Pyra and Mithra as well, just because he's able to force them into situations where Mithra has to use a side B to get back. And at that point, for someone on Gluto's level, it's basically a free kill. But here at that mid-level, it feels a lot more like a Pyra and Mithra advantage, yeah. where if you're not absolutely 100% on point with those edge guards, Pyra and Mithra are just going to win out on those frame data, and they have so many more kill options available to them. Yeah, because you need to be really good at, as a Wario player to just approach Pyra and Mithra in general. Benja was throwing out a lot of down downfills, a lot of hitboxes, as we see right now with the Mithra slow, rapidly racking up 51%. Yeah, and they're obviously quite happy to return to Kalos Pokemon League, but this time it is going so much better for Benja, using a lot more Mithra than we're used to him from already, just to say, I've got an early lead, I'm going to keep it that way, you can't catch me, I'm too fast. Ooh, we see a nice juggle from Nacho, now they're evening the game. Let's see if he can even get the first fuck. But this time holding back doesn't just go for an immediate jump into up air because 
that's how what, what Pyro was doing for pretty much all of the last game three instant up air. So cross game adaptation tries oh. to delay it a bit. The up smash wasn't going to connect because Wario was sent a little too high. That was a situation where you needed an up air instead. Yeah, we see the panic from the players. They don't. They really don't want to lose their first stock here on game four or three. A uh, three. Yeah, game three. Really dense. This is a make or break. Before there's the other way. This is another one of those situations where Nacho is ever so slightly ahead, but it feels like Benio has got a bit more in the way of options right now because the fear is setting in that Pyra might just delete you at 116. Yeah. Like getting the kill as Wario here is really hard. Like how do you even approach this? Do you see ah, it? And that run off forward out will do it. And yeah. again, able to hug the stage with that prominence revolt for making it all the way back while unopposed. Nacho, it's, it's looking like a wax comeback might be necessary in this one. Yeah, especially because, oh, really great uh, back here now. Let's see if Nacho can do edge guard. We haven't seen one of those in the whole game. But now we see he has full waft. Maybe he could do some magic and turn this around with one interaction. At the end of the day, that's only what he needs. One good waft combo. Yep, so you do have the option here to use it on second stock. You definitely don't need to save it for third when you're already at low percent of second stock, whereas you and Return are bleeding quite a bit more on 93. Yeah. So I can definitely see Nacho trying to get it out of the way, but sometimes Wario players will still deliberately save it for the third stock just so you're more afraid of the waft. You know, if you get that second kill with waft, um, you know, you'll be sad that you lost your stock, but at least you don't have to worry as much about it being a threat on the third one. But Nacho at the moment just not even able to close the gap and get any attacks in at the moment. Yeah, no, he's definitely fishing for it. He's definitely fishing for the following up with Wasp, but he isn't able to get it. At the end of the day, Paramitha, very good character avoiding those, but oh, he finally gets it, got the jump, and sure enough, does it. So Nacho in the lead, but has to do pretty much the rest of this game with only the tools that God gave to him. There is going to be no Wasp. Unless we have a really oh. long match, but Roman's Revolt getting the kill almost accidentally there on Nacho. He just was not expecting to be in oh. range of that move. Really cool uh, strings from Nacho here, racking 61 on Mithra. I think that we didn't see for his last game. He was he's really getting comfortable at the uh, comboing here. Now 90%. Uh, surprisingly, such a Nacho game here. Wario's frame data was really letting him down. Once he got down it into the stage, most characters could have got a jab going and interrupt what Pyro was trying to do. Once there was no oh! knockback for Wario, oh! his frame 8 jab wasn't going to do anything in that situation. He's going to go for the chomp. Has to try and catch Pyro on the landing, but an aggressive swing down from Benny to say, of course you're going to come up and chase me. I'm going to send you right back to where you came from. Get off this stage right now. Pyro is just dancing around. Has no interest in playing Mithra anymore. Nacho holding the shield firm. Can you get past the blazing in with an attack? Oh! <laughs> now this is so scary as Nacho and just really going for those landing mix-ups. But Nacho gets the Jolo situation. Maybe he could get the kill here and we could go to our game five. Just putting the bike in the way that and runs right oh. under the bike throw. Because ultimately, once you had the bike in hand, it's not like you could just Z-drop it at that point. You've either got to throw yeah. it forward or throw it directly down where the hitbox is tiny and really unpredictable so ultimately does commit throwing it towards Wario but Nacho absolutely saw it coming and used the dash attack for a bit of first movement to get straight past it fly underneath and get the kill really really smart stuff from Nacho to put the bike in the hands of his opponent so that he could then go in and kill both the character and the bike yeah I think that what happened there was that Benja tried to do uh, uh, dash back F2 but he grabbed back he, bike instead so oh, yeah perhaps really good from Nacho though but using a bit more Mithra, nevertheless, to get the early lead. Oh. But immediately, oh. top side being completely gets away with it. Okay. Well, Out on edge, looking like a, a significantly improved move in that situation. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. No landing lag at all. But now we see a shorter stage. Maybe this is... Uh, well, it makes sense for Benja's counterpick. He doesn't want Wario to have as much room for him to whiff punishes. Uh, constantly mashing from Mithra. Mm -hmm. Right? And this is like the latest we've ever seen him switch to Pyra because he's usually so much comfier with that character. But waited until Wario was at 90, oh. acting like a normal Pyra Mithra player, you could say, in this situation. But Nacho 
Oh, it does get yeah. caught by the big charge right there on Pyra's neutral B. An untackable situation coming out for Nacho because that move was just so strong. That's so tough for Nacho because getting that early stuck might seem doable against Pyra Mithra, but the neutral is just so hard for him. Yeah, Flame Nova is a move that we hadn't even seen come out from him, but you can still see the comparisons to Ike's eruption. Like, I can still draw the lines between the Ike and Pyra co maining but Nacho, oh, that back air attempt would have absolutely sealed the deal, but uh, Benya saw it coming and said, I'm going to hit you before you get to me. Yeah. But right now, Nacho's playing on a, a beautiful advantage state, catching the roll. He's really gotten on to uh, Benja's habits here. Really fast stock for him. Fantastic, but here we go. End it with uh, the ray of punishment there. That's a... Uh, Again, this is more like the, the Mithra I'm used to seeing. This oh. has been a big adaptation in the way that Benjo has been playing. More Mithra heavy and doing the stuff that we're a little more familiar with introduced later as soon as Nacho thinks maybe this doesn't play like a normal Mithra. Yeah, but now Nacho knows he has Waff, knows this is doable, especially against Spyra. Easier to combo. Oh, but he, doesn't, he isn't able to get the combo now. This is scary for Nacho. Jump back air is going to put Wario back on the other side of the stage. Down air reaches so far and is active for so many frames, it's always a threat. And if you miss the timing, that unfortunately is on you, but goes in for the big jump. Wario left. Nacho is back in the lead here, and that is so important to him right now. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Now momentum completely shifted for Nacho. And let's remember, this game has been going on for three minutes. Just three stocks have been taken, so there's a chance he might even get a second full waft. Yeah, and this is so important for Nacho because he wasn't able to take a game off Shiny Mark or Robot. Those are the two top seeds of this pool, but he wants to avoid elimination as the bottom seed of this pool. He needs at least one Ooh. set win to make that happen, but he's in his final stock here against Benja with a lead, but there's going to be no WAF to rely on. He absolutely wants to get a set win here if he's going to move on to the gauntlet phase. Can he find the way, or is oh. Benya going to get the Mithra motions started? You have him off stage. What's the play going to be? The big aerials. Oh my god, this is really scary for Nacho. You really don't want to choke in this situation. Benja is going to make some plays though. Waft! 91% though. This is really doable for Nacho right here. Oh, oh. down at to yeah, down tilt to up air, not a kill percent yet, but we could be getting to down air to up smash before you know it, or any other gigantic oh, no pyro play. Oh. Put stools out of the blazing end, but has no follow up because the sword hadn't returned to the character in time, so Nacho just kind of getting away with his life there, but now in the deficit here. Oh, okay, Ben just really going for those timing mix up for those big aerials above Nacho. No kill confirmed, no waft, oh no! He whips it out of nowhere, he maybe panicked a bit. Just has to commit to playing without it once again, but you have Pyro off stage, that is an ideal situation! Oh! Goes in for the down air! That is the first time we have properly seen Nacho actually deal with Pyro off stage. He's been dealing with it almost entirely from within the stage, and that has cost him here and there, but eventually Nacho finds that down air at the death and gets his first set win of the day beating out Benya and getting his name on the board. He is still alive here at Cumbre, representing Wario, especially in the place of, uh, we had a Panama player uh, as well. Yeah, Pertsu was going to be playing Wario at the tournament, but couldn't make it due to some situations going on in the country. Good that we are getting some Wario win right out here on his behalf. Big, big stuff from Nacho to show what he's made of. That was a really impressive play from Nacho. I, I, I really liked what he did. 